what co-production means to me is uh, a genuine dialogue between people and individuals in their communities and the agencies, whether they're local authority agencies or um, perhaps health services or even central government, a genuine dialogue about what the needs of those communities are and how we can work together to achieve them. Well, co-production is about forming equal and reciprocal partnerships between public service providers and service users so that they pool different kinds of knowledge and skill and get together to work out what's needed and what activities are required to meet people's needs and then to work together to do things that will meet the needs. So it's about defining, planning and delivering services together. to learn what co-production really means in my interpretation these days is that collaboration is the main theme and therefore organizations and people need to come together to do things that create special outcomes really so I'll hope I'll know more by the end of the day it means about changing what we do in terms of public services actually going and talking to communities about what they want and designing services with them from the bottom up but that means people who are in public service totally changing the way they think around what they do it's sort of an ambiguous term, isn't it? And a lot of people haven't... I think a lot of people here are here today to figure out what it means. Um, for me, it's more of a way of being and seeing the world and a mindset um, and a collection of, of like-minded people who, who want to bring... break down boundaries of communication between big institutions and the public and everybody else in the middle. So that's kind of what it means to me, more of a way of, a way of being. It's that local knowledge you've got to tap into. Um, it's largely been ignored. In, in things like consultation uh, and involvement. What co-production is about is something about uh, is, is where people actually construct a service from the, from the bottom up. In all communication, in the type of language that we use, in the way we engage together and the channels of communication, there needs to be um, a bridge crossed between knowledge institutions and ordinary people. So there's quite a lot of cynicism about uh, certain accountability and funding and sort of we've been here before sort of thing, especially at a, uh, a local government level which was quite cynical of in particular learning and the, the funding of learning and whether it would work in practice in the, over a long period and sustainable period. It's about how do we persuade people who may not, um, or may be very sceptical or may not have much of an understanding about the benefits of working um, through co-production. Okay, well for me personally, um, I'm here to, you know, to pick up new ideas and to listen to other streams of thought about how I can improve the way I um, work in a co-productive way. And I hope the same will happen for others, both for um, agencies, state agencies and individuals, um, that they'll you know, learn the lessons from this, pick up some hints and tips, enjoy the day obviously, um, but also go away really inspired that this is a, you know, to work in this way and that this is a good way to go forward. We cannot go on relying on continuing economic growth to provide more and more tax revenues in order to pay for more and better public services. We need to find new resources, so that's one thing. We need to give people more power and help people be able to con contribute and participate, that's another thing. And we need to be able to uh, have sustainable public services, and we think this is the best way to do it. Mm -hmm.